do JSON Web Signature tokens always have a signature or a message authentication code? Well, the answer is no. Um, and this is somewhat like an edge case, um, but it's something that people don't really talk about. So the thing is that according to the specification, in order to be compliant, you must support two algorithms, and that is HS256, right? So HMAC and SHA256. So you generate like a message authentication code from the header and from the claim set and none. And this is maybe surprising, right? Because none means you just don't have like a third part. You don't have like a digital signature and you don't have a Mac. So that means your token uh, looks like this. So you have like this part here, which is like the header. And you have this part here, which is the claim set, like base64 URL encoded. And then you have a dot and then you have nothing. Right, so the last part is just missing this blue thing and this used to be like a really really big security vulnerability because people just implemented the library according to the specification and they say oh yeah if it says that the algorithm is none in the header i'm just going to accept the token and it's kind of like pointless to have none in the header right because why would you use these tokens in the first place if if you use none so this used to be like a big security vulnerability uh, it has been fixed in most libraries though, but if you implement this, like be careful. So make sure that you sort of have like an allow list for the algorithms that you support, like for verification, and then only apply these. And if there's anything else, you just block the token uh, or you just return an error right away. Yeah, so that's it pretty much for unsecured JSON Web Signature tokens. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at production coder. And uh, yeah, see you around. Bye bye.